I'm Dominic Britton. I travel, I travel a lot from Asia to Europe, from the States to Australia, talking to large corporations about leadership. But I learned about leadership from my time in bomb disposal. I spent decades in operations dealing with improvised explosive devices, large Second World War bombs, chemical, biological, radiological or nuclear scenarios. And in all of those incidents, I learned there was one common factor. You had to have almost limitless self-confidence. I came to realise it wasn't just technical knowledge and experience that you needed to be able to be self-confident. Self-confidence comes from thinking things through and from knowing yourself. And if you've got that self-confidence, you've got the courage to continue when things seem impossible. You've got the grit to recover when it all seems to go terribly wrong. And you've got the humility to listen to others when you need to do so. When you're at these incidents, you'll have a scratch team. You're going to have the police, you're going to have your own guys, you're going to have the fire brigade, you're going to have the gas board, and everybody's down there and they're all feeling a little bit nervous. And you've got to pull them together and you've got to make one quick speech that gives them the confidence to believe that they can get this incident done. And then together you get on and you defuse the bomb. And when I looked at that, I realised that there's some things that you can pull together when you're doing a speech. And I picked those up and I started using those in the business world. A lot of people, when they're speaking, can make the audience laugh. It grew in the firm's time, sir. <laughs> and raised his newspaper and carry on reading. And I think that's really important. But the truth is, the second best sound you can hear as a speaker is the sound of the audience laughing. The most important sound, by far the most important sound, is the sound of them thinking. We all know perfectly well what we have to do today. And knowing what you have to do today, that's a good leader. If you can get people to think differently, to have the confidence to think from a different perspective, then you're going to make them more effective as leaders. You're going to make them inspirational and you're going to make them innovative. In Bomb Disposal, I was leading men and women in life and death situations. This taught me about pure leadership and about developing leadership potential in others. My other job though, which I did simultaneously, was chairman of the government organisation that dealt with the terrorist use of chemical, biological, radiological or nuclear devices. And I learnt a lot from leading that organisation. It was nine government departments, 40,000 people. We had to bring them all together and give them the confidence to believe that they could work together and solve these really quite high impact events. And doing that taught me about large organisation leadership. Bomb disposal was an interesting job for me because I was my own boss. I didn't have to report to anybody and I was working simultaneously on the strategic level, the tactical level and the operational level. It's a fantastic job, I loved it. And when I retired, I looked for something else that I could do. I was already doing business speaking, I was doing business training, but doing that alone is not enough because you can start ending up believing your own BS. You start ending up believing that this leadership business is actually rather easy, but in fact, doing it day after day, year after year, is frightfully difficult. Management's easy, leadership is hard. Time then, as quick as you can. So to keep my feet firmly on the ground, I started a business farming. Leading in a farm is much the same as leading at a bomb disposal incident. You have to have that vital self-confidence. Well, get me the crash box, Peter. As a boss at bomb disposal, I learned how to pass the keys to self-confidence onto others. And farming reminds me, on a daily basis, that leadership is not that easy. As a speaker, I help people to gain self-confidence through understanding themselves and thinking things through. Help proven established managers turn themselves into good, effective leaders. This helps them make better profits, but also, and this is at least equally important, good leadership will ensure their company survives as a growing concern, both in the current economic climate and in the decades to come. Well done, guys.
You're down there. Okay. Yeah. okay, thanks, Tony. Thank you. Good question. Thank you. Thank you.